Hey guys, this is Nerd Nerd Sniper coming here with another video, and as always, lights are off, but not for long. <clears throat> hey guys, so before I get started with today's video, all I want to say is I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas and whatever presents you got. I hope you guys are doing okay and still enjoying the holiday. I did too. For me, I got good presents well only three one <laughs> tons of money of course two <clears throat> i pre-ordered a game which i'm not going to tell you guys what it is because i'm keeping it a secret for right now and three let's just say <clears throat> a gift card that's all i'm gonna say <clears throat> so yep i am getting <laughs> Pretty good stuff, and I enjoyed my Christmas. I hope you guys did. <laughs> <clears throat> so, today's video. Now, I've been doing some thinking, and this video has to be, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm gonna, there, and I, there are a couple words I wanna say, and it might not make sense what I'm about to say. <clears throat> so, it has something to do again with resistance. But before I get on to that, I want to talk about the story. Ever since Resident Evil 3 Remake was first released, about, I think it was in 2020, that was about when, two years ago. <clears throat> when I didn't know about resistance at the time, at first I thought it was just some like, I don't know random Resident Evil game but when I started playing it <laughs> obviously it was good and after day after day of playing it <laughs> I started to enjoy it the very first mastermind I played was I would say Daniel because of course Mr. X <laughs> but then after when I started to play as Nikolai when I at first I didn't know what Bill Nikolai can use all I used was creatures and buffs of course but when I realized at the time that Nikolai had the ability to use guns of course and as you guys saw as I demonstrated in the Resident Evil Resistance live streams I became more excellent at playing Nikolai And after that, I kept finding a lot of random players, of course, and obviously I enjoyed fighting them, of course. However, some, of course, blocked me because they think, I, well, I have no idea what they thought of me. But I want to talk about something that's been going on in my mind recently. It has something to do again with those Twitch streamers I mentioned about two weeks ago about that video I posted. <clears throat> so I want to talk about them. And technically this video is also a message to them and I doubt they're even going to be watching this video except maybe I'll say a few of them. So Ever since I would say on the start of January on, I would say 2021, I've been trying my best looking for other live streamers, not only to like have fun with, I mean, well, Target, of course, to mess with them, but in a good way, not in a bad way. I enjoyed finding them, of course, but at the time when I didn't know, I saw, well, when the live stream ended, I saw the what they was, <clears throat> what they were saying about me, of course. And to be honest, I had no, I had no problems with it, and I didn't care what they were saying about me, of course. But after day after day of finding them, of course, some of them blocked me, of course, because obviously they. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it again. You guys already know what I'm about to say. So. 
I've been doing some thinking and probably might be the best for me and to them. So, and I am going to mention their names one last time on the, well, not all of them, only a few of them. But before I say that, before I say these words, I want to say something like, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I will say something good about them. And once again, a message to them. <clears throat> so, but before I do, I want to say something else. There were the very first streamer who I found resistance was, and he wasn't a, it wasn't a Twitch streamer. It was a YouTuber, of course. And when I first saw this guy, I said, hey, why not fight him and get to know him, of course. And that's exactly what I did. This guy, I can't pronounce his name right, but I managed to identify all of his friends. Pep, Dominic, Scooby Gamer, Bacon, Skiffy Knives. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing that. There, yeah, there's a couple of them. And yeah. But anyway, this YouTuber, I managed to get to know him and his friends. And unfortunately, I messaged them through PlayStation. We never actually, I never actually like friend requested them. I just wanted to like get to know them, which is why I messaged them. And I maybe or maybe not, or I'm pretty sure I am. I'm on their good side. And yeah, and technically I'm on their side and their team. Uh, like I vote team pep, like they're good. <clears throat> and then, but after 2021, when Pep and <clears throat> sorry, it's hard for me to talk. <clears throat> I'm not sad, of course. I'm just technically talking to myself. <clears throat> but ever since those guys, like, I don't know, disappeared since 2021 on December, I think, or I, I can't remember, but it was, it's been exactly like a year since I haven't seen them, of course. <clears throat> that was the whole reason why I decided to go after those Twitch streamers in the first place, because it wasn't like the same without them. That's why I decided to target the Twitch streamers. <clears throat> but then one day I met this guy who introduced me to this other guy who's also a Twitch streamer and this guy, well, I'm not, I'm going to keep him like, I don't want to say his name, but this Twitch streamer it was the only, and he's also a YouTuber, of course, but he's the only person who's gotten to know me and understand what I've been. And as a matter of fact, I think it's about time I should tell you guys a few stuff. I'm just going to tell you guys short things about me, of course. <clears throat> For starters, for those of you who are still already know who I am about my condition, I'm autistic, of course, but just be, but I have the, <clears throat> the autism I have is high functioning autism, which means I can talk as you can see, I'm talking right now as a normal being, and I can obviously do what I can do as a normal person, <clears throat> a normal, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> normal person can do the only thing is I have like hard time talking and I, I think this word um, anxious I don't know what that means but it's normally what my sister tells me but anxious when I'm like mostly trying to like communicate with others normally in life or online of course and honestly <clears throat> like how, how it's happening right now when I keep doing that. Because sometimes it kind of like, I kind of stop myself from talking, of course, because normally I don't really like talk to you guys. But either way, it's how I am. And let's just say in life, I've been through, like, I know people have been, like there are other people who are going through worse situations than me, but for me, I've been through like really bad stuff in my life. 
and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I already mentioned it in one of my videos a couple of months ago and I'm, pre <laughs> I'm pretty sure those of you guys know what it is but for those well those twitch streamers of course in resistance who I find I'm pretty sure you haven't because and I'm pretty sure you probably are saying you don't care but it's it's your choice <clears throat> so <clears throat> one of them I am going to say and this is a message to him and <laughs> okay sorry about that I accidentally pressed the wrong button <clears throat> so as I was saying this guy he's a twitch streamer he's also a youtuber a different one and I am going to say his name of course and this is going to be the last time. <clears throat> Mouse Evil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you guys know that name. Well, only my viewers. Well, my viewers don't know who he is. But I'm pretty sure some of them do. Ever since when Pep and Dominic and the rest of Pep's friends disappeared. Or stopped playing Resistance. That was the whole reason why I targeted him in the first place because he kind of reminded me how Pep and Dominic fought against me including all of his other friends and I really wish I could have gotten to know him of course I even met this guy a moderator on my channel I'm pretty sure he still is just like because to show my appreciation and to show my kindness but obviously after this year and last year of course i noticed that after when he finished live streaming of course i've noticed that some of his buddies <clears throat> mentioned a lot of stuff about me not the nice kind of course it didn't hurt my feelings of course because it was on them and i'm not even gonna say what they said so yeah but after day after day of fighting them, of course, they've been saying stuff about me, which obviously I don't care. It never hurt my feelings and I didn't have a problem with them. But obviously something, I've been doing some thinking and obviously I think it's finally has come to this. But before I say these next words, I just want to say these words just to show my appreciation and my kindness. So, <clears throat> here goes nothing. Mouse Evil, including all the other Twitch streamers who I fought in Resistance. It was really fun playing with you guys, well, fighting you guys. And <laughs> one last time, I just want to apologize for whatever I did, but I'm pretty sure you guys will just not forgive me, of course, or I don't know. And obviously, I can take a hint that you guys don't want to see me or <laughs> don't want me around you guys, which I clearly understand. But I just want to say it was really, really such an honor fighting with you guys. And I give you a thumbs up for the last time. And you're probably wondering what you mean last time. I'll get on to that, but it was really such a nice time fighting with you guys, but <clears throat> I just really wish I would have gotten to know you guys and you got to know me, of course, but obviously I can take a hint. You guys don't want me around and obviously I don't want to cause any problems with you. <clears throat> So this is what's going to be happening and here comes this part where probably might not make any sense and this you guys are going to tell me this is crazy but it's the only way I can think of it. <clears throat> Starting next year on January 1st on the start of the new year of 2023 I am blocking them every single one of them because don't take this as like i'm mad at you guys or i'm like you didn't you didn't you guys didn't do nothing to me 
You didn't hurt my feelings. You didn't like make me mad. No, no, nothing, nothing. But obviously what I can tell you guys is I can like take a hint that you guys don't want me around. And obviously you guys, well, I have no idea what you guys are thinking of me, but still, it was really such an honor fighting with you guys. So <clears throat> I gave you a thumbs up. And also, if you guys think I'm crying, <laughs> no, look, uh, see, no tears. Because <clears throat> if I was crying, like you would see like water coming out and my mask would be wet, of course. And I would be like, I don't know, my voice and I would be like sobbing, of course, <clears throat> but still. I just want to say it was really such an honor with you guys, but I think it's about time I say my goodbyes and leave you guys alone. But before I get to on, here's what I also have been thinking. Maybe, and I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I'll leave them alone for maybe like one or two more years and maybe I'll unblock them to see how they're doing and maybe they'll, they'll continue playing resistance, of course. As for me, I am going to be continuing live streaming on resistance, of course, and yeah. But I just don't want to cause any problems or any issues or anything like that. Because, yeah, if you guys recall after that, <clears throat> after that situation with that psychopath Basilix, who, as a matter of fact, I should probably tell you guys this right now, one last time, he's gone, he won't be causing any problems. And my friends have already removed his account from Twitch. And well, fortunately that video he posted about me is still on. So I hope you guys are also still reporting that. I am as well. But in any case, Basilix is truly and fully gone. So he won't be causing any problems anymore to anyone. And I'm just glad he's gone because obviously that guy would obviously try to make those guys turn against me and get rid of me, of course. But fortunately, thanks to the help with some of my friends, he's gone. He's officially gone. He won't be bothering them, me, or anyone else. <clears throat> but with that said, one last time, Mouse Evo, including the other Twitch streamers. Well, and here's another thing. I'm not going to block, like, all, all of them. Only, I would say maybe half of them so that way i i don't bump into them like if you think like how many there are there if i recall i think there is a total of 25 of them but i'm not gonna block like all 25 only like maybe four or five something like that so that way i don't like run into them <laughs> it's that simple <clears throat> but either way so yeah <clears throat> I hope you guys <clears throat> man I'm having a hard time talking <clears throat> so yeah that's what's going to be happening next year on the start of 2023 on January 1st so one last time it was really such an honor to fight with you, <clears throat> fighting with you guys but I can take a hint and one last time my feelings are not hurt I'm not quitting resistance I'm and I'm apologizing whatever I did but I'm pretty sure you guys would not forgive me which I clearly understand <clears throat> so this is my way of saying goodbye and never seeing you guys again maybe for a year or two or I don't know I'm still thinking about it but still, it was really such an honor fighting with you guys. So I give you one last thumbs up and all I want to say is goodbye. But I'm, I'm not Queen Resistance because <laughs> I'm still playing that game and Resident Evil is always a part of my life. So yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, with that said, I hope you guys will... I'm pretty sure some of my viewers are going to start commenting and probably going to be asking me why or I don't know, like I don't know how 
to explain it, but still. <clears throat> but either way, if you guys are going to comment, then I will answer those questions. And yeah, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be, I don't know, confused or upset or mad or I just don't know what to say. But this is the only way I can think of it. But once again, I am not mad. I'm not upset. They didn't do nothing to me. They didn't do nothing bad to me. All, all I can tell you guys is right now I can take a hint. <clears throat> and I'll leave you guys alone for maybe like a year or two. And then I'll unblock you guys. <clears throat> but anyways, with that said... I would say don't forget to like and subscribe, but obviously <laughs> I have no idea. But I will see you guys again on my live stream. So and hopefully guys you don't get like upset with me while I... Yeah. But anyways, see you guys again next time. So peace out, stay safe, and see you guys next time and <sighs> peace. See ya.